I didn't realize the potential for boring this video had until I started describing it to my wife. So buckle up. Uh, yesterday I got a new sander. I got uh, I picked up a used Festool uh, ETS125 on Facebook Marketplace for a really good deal. And it happened to come with a whole bunch of Derigold sandpaper. Um, I'm a relatively new woodworker, but since just about the beginning I got frustrated with um, traditional kind of paperback or paper hook and loop um, sandpaper. Uh, and really fell for this stuff called SandNet, um, which if I understand correctly is um, probably a, a variation and or knockoff of Abernet, which I have never used, but perhaps that's in the future. Um, I thought this might be a good chance to do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. Um, when I, before I sped up the video, the Duragold took about five and a half minutes to sand the side, sand the pencil marks off, which I know is wildly unscientific, but seemed decent for uh, the purposes of this video. Uh, when I switched to the sand net, um, I haven't used it with the Fest tool yet, but basically they give you a pad that you put on the Velcro or hook and look of your sander, and then you hook the mesh onto it. So it's a sandwich between the mesh and your sander. Um, the holes in it did not line up with the holes in the fest tool, so the dust collection was terrible. I should tell you a little bit about what's happening. This is a pine one by top for a dog kennel I'm making for a client. Um, I've already sanded with 80 just to get all the roughness off. Um, and, and give both of them a fair uh, a starting point. I'm fairly certain the Duragold is considerably cheaper than the, uh, the sand net, but I'll take uh, getting the job done quicker, uh, more easily on something like sanding that I would rather skip in the first place. All right, a couple of observations. Um, firstly, with this sand net, you can run your compressor and uh, blow through here, clean that out, and it will be just like new. Um, in fact, with the dust collection working like it should be working, uh, you, you never even have to do that. It keeps itself really clean. Um, and you can kind of see there's none of that abrasive has started to wear off of the actual mesh yet. Um, these have lasted me a long, long, long time. Um, this is just kind of a funky example. I'll show you why that this happened here in just a second. Uh, the Duragold uh, has seemed to last um, really, really well. Uh, I just haven't used a, a traditional um, sanding disc in a long time other than these mesh, uh, and so it's just a little bit different feel, different experience. Um, what's happening with this sand net is to use the sand net, you have to have their own uh, proprietary like hook and loop system there doesn't seem to be a whole pattern on the Fest tool that lines up with this very well. And so um, I might have to modify this uh, or just find some other way around it um, to get the dust collection working well. Um, if this isn't a, a testament to how well the dust collection works when it's functioning correctly, uh, this is the side that the Duragold hit. And the Duragold has holes that line up exactly with the Fest tool. And this is the side that the sand net sanded. Um, to me, uh, I haven't gone back and watched the video yet, but to me the sand net is much, much, um, much quicker. Um, I'll clean this off and see about quality of finish. Uh, again, this is just pine and it's a quick and dirty uh, dog crate top. If you found anything of value in this, I hope that you'll uh, like and subscribe. I'm super new, but the most I can promise is that each one will get better. Thanks a lot. Bye.